leaving Seoul's high court a free man. Few would have predicted Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman J.Y. Lee would be released when he arrived just a few hours earlier on Monday. Again, I feel sorry for not showing everyone my best side, and it has been a really precious time for a year reflecting on myself. I will thoroughly check and do my best. The 49-year-old had been in prison for more than a year on charges arising from what's been described as Asia's biggest corruption scandal that exposed the close ties between Korea's family-run conglomerates and its political leaders. It was a scandal that eventually led to the removal of President Park Geun-hye. A lower court convicted Lee in August for bribing the former president for her help in strengthening his control over Samsung Electronics, one of the world's biggest technology companies. He was also convicted on embezzlement and other charges. Now an appeals court has reduced the original five-year jail sentence by half and suspended it. Lee's release is already being felt by markets. Samsung's share price spiked on Monday, a sign that investors are looking forward to seeing him back in charge. But there are political consequences to his release. South Korea's current president, Moon Jae-in, won office by campaigning to clean up Korea's powerful corporate sector. And many will see the court ruling as effectively a get-out-of-jail card for Lee that goes against everything the president stood for. In Fiesta, Al Jazeera.